to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Friday, April 11, 2014, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Here's a look at our top story tonight. Tonight. Look at that piece of trash. BLM attempted cover-up of Senator Reed Chinese government takeover of Ranch for Solar Farm. And this is a Death Star level destruction event, okay? Oh, oh, oh. People get excited when they win the Super Bowl, folks. You're, you know, their team does. I get excited when we, we are literally... <laughs> I'm sorry. Folks, help us. <laughs> Well, the battle in Nevada is still ongoing. The Bureau of Land Management, the agents there have assaulted protesters once again. They threw several to the ground, handcuffed them, threatened them with tasers, and then they detained them for hours. Protesters there reported that the First Amendment area was taken down. They hooked a truck up onto the fence where that was surrounding the First Amendment area, and then boom, just like that, they removed the ludicrous First Amendment area. We're also getting reports that the Bureau of Land Management has brought in ranchers from out of state to deal with the emergency to help assist with the security issues there. Now, we're also getting reports of an armed militia moving in. But curiously, these reports coincide with the mainstream media also swooping into Nevada there to cover this story. Now, of course, they've tried to take it over and spin it before it gets out of hand, and it coincides with this militia and the reports of uh, armed militia there who aren't afraid to get shot. So we're definitely going to see how they spin this. Of course, they're going to mildly cover how this is a state's rights issue, but they're definitely pushing this huge standoff between people who are illegally occupying this land and the federal government who has the right to be there. But meanwhile, according to Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17 of the Constitution, it's the Bureau of Land Management who are occupying the land illegally. Now, the founders were opposed to providing a centralized federal government with unlimited authority to purchase and seize state and private land. And that's right there, according to the Constitution, you can look that up. But like I said, the mainstream media swooped in at the same time as the reports of hundreds of militia moving into the area, heading for the standoff. So it's crystal clear how the mainstream media is going to try and spin this. And that's why through divine intervention, this broke at InfoWars today. Senator Harry Reid behind BLM land grab of Bundy Ranch. Now the truth is all out there online. You can research it for yourself. Kit Daniels pieced it all together. Senator Harry Reid and his son are involved in an effort by a Chinese energy company to build a $5 billion solar farm and panel manufacturing plant in the Southern Nevada desert. Now the area of land in question is the exact swath of land that all the ranchers were ousted from because of the desert tortoise. And the exact spot where Clive and Bundy's land lies is where they want these solar panels. Now, Clive and Bundy's land, uh, Clive and Bundy's name is even listed in these BLM documents. Now, Harry Reid's son used to chair the county commission in Clark County, and Senator Harry Reid's former senior advisor is now the director of the Bureau of Land Management. So that's the smoking gun right here, folks. What we're seeing is Agenda 21 basically robbing the U.S. land, our, our rights, and selling it to foreign companies, selling it to the Chinese. So we're going to, it's going to be, very interesting to see how the mainstream media spins this because that was breaking at InfoWars today. We've got a bunch of, of trucks out there of the mainstream news that are trying to spin this story and they're not going to be able to spin this one. This is a doozy for Harry Reid. Now, Alex Jones will be joining me in studio later, later to break this down, but here is breaking video of David Knight confronting the sheriff's office there in Clark County. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Good, good. David Knight. Jose Hernandez, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I had some questions. Um, I'm with the Al yes. Regarding? Uh, well, I'm with the Alex Jones Show. Okay. And uh, we're following the, the ranching situation up there. Okay. But in a related matter, um, we had come across some research that showed that there was a large solar project okay. uh, up in the air. Let, yeah. let me back up here before we get into anything. Okay, um, give us a call. Submit your request through our office. 
Um, you showing up like this unannounced, we really can't help you. So for any any media, do you have any kind of a media release about the ranching situation? No. Give us a call if you want. I, I'm going to Nobody else has asked you about what's going on at the, the ranch. You're, you're totally unprepared to answer questions about that situation. I'm going to tell you. Actually, you know what? Let's go outside because I really okay. We really haven't talked about. Well, I mean, with any more. So uh, give us a call. We'll set up. Well, you know, frankly, if you're going to dodge questions like this, I couldn't care less about it, propaganda. You know what's going on up there, and you want to talk to people, and you don't even have a prepared statement? Shame on you. You're criminals. That's a bunch of bullshit. They know what's going on at the Bundy Ranch, and they won't even let a personal information officer, a police information officer, give us any information. That's his job. The public information officer is supposed to have at least a statement about what's going on here. They won't even give us a statement. They're corrupt. They're probably in this with Harry Reid. That's what we wanted to ask him. That's what he won't answer. But he won't even answer why they're not doing anything to protect the people and the property up there at that ranch. David Knight for Infowars.com. So it's obvious that the public information officer there in Clark County has yet to gather up all of his propaganda to spin their way out of this story. David Knight's going to be there all weekend. We're going to continue to update you with that. But you know that something big is happening here in America. People are beginning to wake up to what's happening. We're beginning to push back. But even more unprecedented, our elected officials are starting to speak out about what is happening here. Yesterday, we had uh, Boehner calling out Washington for refusing to tell the American people the truth about Benghazi, the IRS, Fast and Furious. Well, today it was Senator Jeff Sessions who was going after Eric Holder and VP Joe Biden for their pro-amnesty stance. Attorney General Holder and Cecilia Munoz, who's the president's chief director, policy person on immigration, who used to be with La Raza, they've described amnesty as a civil right. So you come into the country illegally, and the Attorney General of the United States declares that these individuals have a civil right to amnesty. Sessions also said that Americans need to stand up to this deliberate plan by the President of the United States to collapse the nation's law enforcement system regarding illegal immigration. Indeed, and he isn't the only person who is speaking out. We also have Cheryl Atkinson. She was a longtime investigative reporter for CBS News, and then she left there when she continued to be stonewalled for her investigative reports on Obama. Anytime she would get a little too deep into any of his scandals, she would be pulled off. Well, she had this to say about the deliberate influence on our country. Broadly, there are overarching concerns about I would say just fear over original investigative reporting. There is unprecedented, I believe, influence on the media, not just the news, but the images you see everywhere, by well-orchestrated and well-financed campaigns of special interests, political interests, and corporations. And I think all of that comes into play. So this is all unprecedented. We are beginning to see the bricks fall in the wall of propaganda, and it is up to all of us to continue pushing and knock it all the way down. Now stick around because coming up, Alex Jones joins me in studio. Celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. Celebrate the spirit of 1776 with the George Washington brass belt buckle or this incredibly sharp looking 1776 hat. Badass. And be sure to check out the new arrivals at InfoWars Life, where you can prepare your body to perform at peak levels with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine, Super Male Vitality, and Fluoride Shield. And wake up, America. Immune Support Blend is the healthy choice for the gourmet coffee lover. So get incredibly high-quality, freedom-based products and help fund the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered 
the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest times. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, medical herbs, and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. We've got some breaking news here at InfoWars today. We've been covering the story about the battle for Nevada, the standoff between the Bureau of Land Management and cattle rancher Clive and Bundy. So far, they say the dispute has been over grazing rights. While the truth has been hiding in plain sight the entire time, InfoWars put the pieces of the puzzle together. Breaking, Senator Harry Reid is behind the Bureau of Land Management land grab of the Bundy Ranch. Now, Harry Reid and his oldest son, Rory, are both involved in an effort by a Chinese energy giant, ENN Energy Group, to build a $5 billion solar farm and panel manufacturing plant in the southern Nevada desert. Now, his son, Reed's son, is a lawyer with a prominent Las Vegas firm that is representing ENN and helped it locate a 9,000-acre desert site. And just where is this 9,000-acre desert site? Well, it's just along that swath of land that just so happens to be where all of those ranchers have been bought out or forced out. And Clive and Bundy is the last rancher standing. His property just so happens to be the exact location where they want to put those solar panels. Now, we uncovered these documents. They had been removed from the Bureau of Land Management's site by none other than the director of the Bureau of Land Management, who also happens to be Harry Reid's former senior advisor. So the truth is stranger than fiction. And joining me now to break this down is Alex Jones. Well, Alex, this story has just gone national overnight. The mainstream media has swooped in. They're trying to make it about the militia and how there's going to be this standoff and guns. But the story has taken a sharp left here today, breaking at InfoWars. What is going on? That's right. Left, as in the kleptocratic senator, already known for being incredibly corrupt, the guy that runs uh, not just Las Vegas but Nevada as a whole, uh, the man who took his chief of staff and made him the head of the BLM a few years ago, and it was a big controversy. Hiding in plain view, Senator Harry Reid. Infowars.com discovered this. I put the reporters on it. I said the Democrats locally are making threats. They're saying, better bring body bags. How dare you protesters come? They're so angry. They're so vicious, even though it's unpopular. There's got to be money involved here. There's got to be some land grab, energy deal, something going on, development. I don't know what it is. But if that's involved, Harry Reid's running it because nothing happens in that state that he doesn't run. He's a kingpin. Well, Watson dug into it, Nemo dug into it, Kit Daniels found it. Hiding in plain view, and Kit found documents that were removed off the BLM website but on Google's uh, archive. Mm -hmm. And we also found all the mainstream news articles that I'm going to show folks here on the uh, overhead camera. U.S. Senator Reid, son, combined for China firm's desert plan. So you've got that article from August 2012, almost two years ago. You've got more rich Chinese companies buying U.S. property, Financial Times, about how uh, they were buying 125-mile swath mm -hmm. from the state and others uh, from that southern area down by Vegas and, and, and where the uh, solar farms going right on his ranch up into the north. And we have the documents listing Mr. Bundy as the only guy that wouldn't sell. Right. So right at the key spot where they want to put uh, the the solar farm is his land. Here it is. How Harry Reid delivered a 235-mile-long power line 
to Nevada, right up the state. Well, he didn't deliver that. He stole everyone's uh, land. Uh, absolutely, and, and they're not being honest about it. They tried to buy the property 10 years ago, and again, four years ago, from Bundy. Now they're just saying, you don't own it, we're taking it. For those that don't understand ranching, if it's public land before it was even a state, he, his family has grazing rights and forage rights on it. They have to buy those rights away, not charge him to use it. They claimed it was a desert tortoise. Turns out they're right. killing the tortoises. Uh, the government is. So uh, here it is. Cost conflicts arise in Reed's push for green power. Now, I'm getting to the breaking news right now. There's the background. This is hiding in plain view. We dug deeper and, and, and found a New American Magazine investigation that dug deeper, and we found the document that they'd removed off their site saying Cliven Bundy must be removed, and this is up on Infowars.com in the article, and it goes on to say non-governmental organizations, that's who's running this land takeover, have expressed concern that the regional migration strategy of Dry Lake Solar Energy Zone utilities, uh, Gold Butte, and the location for off-site migration for impacts from solar development, and that those uh, restoration activities are not durable with the presence of trespass cattle. So, he won't sell. They just say, you know what? Who needs laws? Who needs state laws, federal laws, common law? We're going to tear out your water windmills. We're going to tear out your water facilities, your pipes. We're going to have snipers. We're going to taser people. And, and, and the public's so dumb, even Fox News won't tell people. They go, well, does he have rights or doesn't he? Right. It's cut and dry. This is well known. This is outrageous. He has the water rights, the forage rights, the surface rights. And I guarantee you, they'd have come to him and said, we're going to put in some solar panels and stuff. He'd say, sure, develop the area. And, you know, they put fences around there except for the cattle. No, they just want him out. This is happening all over America. The article breaking at Infowars.com at about 2.30 today, DrudgeReport.com, the biggest news aggregator in the world, had uh, linked to it. We've got some screenshots of that. And now it's already hitting everywhere. I don't know how they're going to get out of this with the Justice Department, people calling for him to resign or impeach or for him to be arrested in Congress, all their corruption, all his con uh, connections to corruption. Harry Reid's being protected by the Justice Department. This is cut and dry. A Chinese government controlled mega firm involved in land grabbing all over the West, going in and getting 600,000 acres that their family's been on since 1877. Mm. They could claim ownership of it, by the way, under common law. They just have the grazing rights registered with the state since it was a state uh, earlier in the last century. This is cut and dry. So the headline here, breaking, Senator Harry Reid behind BLM land grab of Bundy Ranch, BLM attempted cover-up of Senator Reid Chinese government takeover of ranch for solar farm. And the documents are now posted for everybody there, but also linked to the Google archive if anybody out there is in denial. We're going to show all those to folks. It's up to the viewers out there and up to real media. I don't care what you call yourself, left, right, conservative, liberal, constitutional, libertarian. I don't care where you are. This is about the evil Chinese government that has literal slave factories and Foxcom suicide nets and forced abortion and mobile execution vans telling Hollywood what they can put out in movies now. Uh, buying up our country or just getting public land. This is what happens in globalism where under the IMF and World Bank, third world countries have their public lands and the people that indigenously are on those handed over. This is what Agenda 21 is. This is what Bill Clinton's executive order and my first film, America Destroyed by Design, was about. In Utah, uh, uh, near there, they put two million acres off limits that had clean burning coal on it. First, they kicked the ranchers off that so they couldn't use it. Then they put it off limits so you couldn't mine the coal to double the value of Chinese clean coal. Bill Clinton did that deal back in 1997. It was a big story. It's the same thing. And the Chinese government, with the Nature Conservancy, Sierra Club, you name it, they're one of the prime movers in this dirtiness. And the Republican leadership, Leanne, doesn't want to stop this because they're involved in it too. Right. They went after Clinton for you know sex in the Oval Office because that was a limited thing they could go after him for that didn't connect to other people. So it's going to be up to us to force John Boehner and others to cover it. What's your take on this, Leanne? Well, I think it's we had such a premonition about this. I think one of our very first headlines when we were covering this was Red Dawn. The protesters there was a Red Dawn scenario. I mean, and now to find out that this the Chinese are involved in this somehow. I mean, 
just, it's it's insane. It's but, literal Red Dawn. Yeah, I mean, and that's what's going on here, and this is so huge. It's, it's Agenda 21 in people's faces. Now they can see how they're using these Endangered Species Act to take people's property rights away, away from them. That's what Bundy's saying. It's not, you know, this, is, this isn't about his cattle. This is about states' rights. It, it's about freedom. And I'm curious, how do you think the mainstream media is going to be able to spin this now? Because they've obviously swooped in. They're trying to make this about, you know, that this, there's a standoff and Bundy's, you know, illegally occupying this land. And how are they going to spin it now? Well, I want to say something. Six months before it happened, I saw a YouTube video with the Hatari militia out of Michigan. People can go read the news articles about it. They can see the videos when I said it and when it happened. And I said, that group's infiltrated by feds. I said, that video is produced with federal direction or by feds. They're going to set them up. I'm warning them. Turned out they've been under surveillance for two years. On the way to the Knob Creek machine gun shoot-off, they got them to say if the U.N. took over, we may have to fight. Now, a federal judge ordered their release and said it was all a setup and they weren't planning terrorism. So most militias are great people, but almost all of them, if they're underground, are infiltrated. And I've been seeing some videos and some things put out that, to a trained eye, I mean, I've been doing this 19 years, instantly screams fed or someone being handled. Right. There's a bunch of militias out there. I'm sure most of them are good people. But when you try to say, hey, look out for feds in your ranks, they always go, shut up, traitor, you're the fed. Right. Because, you know, they're good Americans, but not very high IQs sometimes, being led by federal operators. Right, they don't realize they're being provocateur. Yeah, and, and, and again, I've defeated the major federal movements with God's help and with everybody's prayers and support. I don't want to get into it. I could write a book. No one would believe it. I mean, the stuff behind the scenes, the, the infiltrations, the setups, all of it. It's grandma praying for me. It's the only reason I'm alive. And we just appreciate the courage of you, the reporters, you know, being here and going through this. Uh, it, it, it is one hell of a ride. Yeah, thank and, goodness for David Knight being there. Well, we've already had retired high-level military personnel that we checked into or who they say they are out there actually warning Bundy and others. So we're going to stop them at every level, and we're going to try to stop violence from happening uh, because we're going to kick their butt in the info war, Leanne. Mm. The enemy wants to get this violent, and they want to be able to paint us as violent. And quite frankly, under 1775, Lexington, Concord, you know, hey, they said on that hill, we don't want a war to start, but if they start it, let the war start here. If they shoot people or attack them or whatever, folks have a right to defend themselves. It's just that it isn't about the physical confrontation. It's about the fraud of the Chinese government and Harry Reid coming in to steal this and the fact that this has been in plain view for two years. I guarantee you CNN knew, MSNBC knew. They only showed up today, two weeks after we broke this and Drudge put it out nationwide a week and a half ago, when inner stage left, the militia pops up. Exactly. Uh, with some guys literally in clown outfits. I mean, you can pretty much see what's going on here. Yeah. Well, how angry do you think those cowboys are going to be now that they know <laughs> the communist China is behind all of this? I mean, they have been true cowboys out Real there. cowboys have been riding in, getting the cows from the feds. The feds can't stop them. They're coming out with guns on horseback. Cowboys saying, you know, go ahead and draw your hand. No, it, it, this is real. Those are the real militia. And again, there's, there's great militia in this country as well. Mm -hmm. Most of them call themselves a local shooting club. And, and, and they're politically involved. They wear suits and ties. I mean, I'm, I'm a man of able age. I mean, I am in the militia. Every, every man from 18 to, depending on the area of the Constitution, 44 to 46, I'm getting so old in a few years I won't be mandatory in the militia. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm here. I train 50 cows, whole nine yards to defend myself and the country from enemies foreign and domestic. It's just I'm just saying this goes on in the militia, so we've got to watch that as well. But back to Reed, this is huge. Closing comments, Leanne. I'm just I'm just so interested to see how this is going to, how this is going to, roll out over the weekend. David Knight is there on the scene. And I'm, I'm interested to see what Clive and Bundy thinks about these documents because we're making sure that he has access to these as well. Seeing how far back this plan has been for, for one man. I mean, I'm sure he had no idea being the last rancher standing. What I mean, this was huge. That's right. Over 15 years, they've been harassing him, trying to drive him out, driving people to have heart attacks and die young, buying out some. Ten years ago, tried to buy him out four years ago, and then now he made a stand, the people came, and if we just start standing up, this is what's animating. It's not exhausting to go fight tyranny. It's exciting, at least for me. You've been here now a year. What's it been like, Leanne? Well, it's been incredibly exciting, but today it just reiterates again how I am a part, by being a part of InfoWars, I am helping to drive the narrative and being able to see behind you know, the curtain and see how the mainstream media is struggling so hard 
to fight us in the info war, and they are losing the info war, and it's just exciting. And that's it, and, and we're just average folks, but we're able more and more put the truth in and change mm -hmm. the world narrative, national narrative, because we've been fighting. And it just shows how you are part of the info war out there. We all are, we have power. The enemy tells us we will be assimilated, we have no power all day, because they know how much power we've got. Well, great job hosting the news tonight, Leanne. Go ahead and take us out. Thanks, Alex. All right, well, we will continue giving you coverage of what's happening there in Nevada. David Knight is still on the scene. You can follow us at Real Alex Jones on Twitter. We'll be updating this story throughout the weekend, as well as updating all the articles on Infowars.com. Thank you all so much for tuning in to the news tonight, and we'll see you here again Monday at 7 p.m. Central. Tune in to PrisonPlanet.tv for an extended broadcast. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Sir, I've read you what your department promised, and it is inadequate, and I realize that contempt is not a big deal to our attorney general, but it is important that we have proper oversight. You don't want to go there, buddy. So, you don't want to go there, okay? I don't want to go there? No. About the contempt? You should not assume that uh, that is not a big deal to me. I think that it was inappropriate, I think it was unjust, but never think that that was not a big deal to me. That was Attorney General Eric Holder angry over the way his actions have been characterized. Meanwhile, Holder still has not supplied the gentleman or the American people with the documents requested. We don't want to go there with Holder knowing about the ATF running guns into Mexico and then lying about it. Attorney General Eric Holder was sent briefings on the controversial Fast and Furious operation as far back as July 2010. That directly contradicts his statement to Congress. Listen to what Holder told a Judiciary Committee hearing on May 3rd this year. I'm not sure of the exact date, but I probably heard about Fast and Furious for the first time over the last few weeks. Yet internal Justice Department documents show that at least 10 months before that hearing, Holder began receiving frequent memos discussing Fast and Furious. Don't go there with Holder wanting drones for the same unaccountable ATF. Don't go there with Holder wanting gun owners to wear trackable bracelets. Don't go there about Holder deflecting press questions about the death of a man the FBI confused with Timothy McVeigh. But do let Holder go there saying that he is the only AG to suffer this kind of treatment. Unprecedented, unwarranted, ugly, and divisive adversity. If you don't believe that, you look at the way, and forget, forget about me, forget about me. You look at the way the Attorney General of the United States was treated yesterday by a House committee. Had nothing to do with me, forget that. What attorney general has ever had to deal with that kind of treatment? Right. Insanely, Eric Holder has come out and said it's basically racism that people are treating him with, quote, disrespect when he's ignored congressional subpoenas for four years. And he says no attorney general has ever been treated like this. I could dig up three today when I saw this clip in a few minutes online in the last hundred years that served prison time. The last one was John N. Menchel, served 19 months and died in prison due to his involvement in the Watergate affair. He was sentenced to prison in 1977, serving 19 months. I mean, I've got the attorney general saying that never happened. Of course, this guy's as white as a snowflake, as bald as a cue ball, and as goofy looking as a rattlesnake. The point is that... That's all they've got now is race card. You can find more reports at InfoWars.com.
Beaches Geldof, the Paris Hilton of the UK, was found dead at the age of 25 of unexplained and sudden causes. There was no suicide note, no hard drugs on the scene, and autopsy reports so far are inconclusive awaiting toxicology reports. But was Peaches Geldof targeted for exposing pedophilia or something more sinister? Last year, Geldof tweeted the names of two crazed groupies who allegedly agreed to let singer Ian Watkins of the group Lost Profits sexually abuse their children. Watkins pled guilty to 13 counts of child sexual assault, including two counts of attempting to rape a baby. Geldof, who is a reformed wild child and mother of two, insisted that these monster moms be named because the press refused. She sent out a tweet revealing the names of the mothers and then promptly deleted it after she was informed that she might be investigated by police for inadvertently identifying the child victims involved, a crime in the UK. But was Peaches ready to reveal more? She's not the first person to die under mysterious circumstances after exposing pedophilia. BBC presenter Jimmy Seville died before he could pay for his crimes as part of an organized elite pedophile ring linked to the UK government, the BBC, and the royal family. A theory following the death of Princess Diana was that she had knowledge of the powerful VIP pedophile ring and was about to blow the lid on what she knew. There's a still unsolved case of BBC investigative journalist Jill Dando, who was shot point blank outside of her home. It's rumored that she may have uncovered the VIP pedophile ring operating within the BBC and was about to expose it. There's also the mysterious death of Georgia State Senator Nancy Schaefer and her husband, immediately dubbed a murder-suicide by the media. Nancy was actively exposing corruption within the Department of Family and Child Services, including actions by the DFCS director in the county where she lived. Specifically in Georgia, former Senator Nancy Schaefer had found during the last few years that DFCS housed children in a foster home with a known pedophile who molested the children. Habersham County failed to remove six children from a home where they are being abused and tortured. And Georgia also turned two girls over to a California father who had a pornographic video business. Schaefer made it clear that organizations procure their underage victims by making children wards of the state, such as convicted pedophile Jerry Sandusky's nonprofit, The Second Mile. But there's another curious twist linking Peaches to occult groups that perform ritualistic child abuse. Peaches was very interested in ghosts and the occult and recently snapped a selfie that she claimed revealed the ghostly hand of a woman who had died in her home. Her death comes about a year after publicly announcing her initiation into the occult secret society Ordo Templi Orientis. On March 11, 2013, Peaches uploaded this photo to Instagram. What's the first rule of Fight Club? You do not talk about Fight Club. Geldof's Instagram snap caused a surge of interest for the secret society. It's based on Aleister Crowley's Thelema, the OTO revolves around the concept of sex magic to attain spiritual illumination. The OTO considers itself to be the true heir of the Knights Templar and the Bavarian Illuminati. Crowley's text also contains several thinly veiled allusions to human ritual sacrifice to attain magical potency. Crowley's motto, do what thou wilt, has even influenced Illuminati puppet Jay-Z, who has repeatedly appropriated Crowley's quotations, including wearing this t-shirt emblazoned with the words. Aleister Crowley, once dubbed the wickedest man in the world, reveled in sadomasochistic sex rituals and the use of hard drugs. These are the same fertility rituals and creepy child sacrifice themes we've seen before at the Rothschilds masquerade. Geldof defended Crowley on her social media accounts, calling him a beautiful writer and thinker, and posting photos of her bookshelves stacked with volumes of Crowley's work. We may never know if Peaches Geldof was murdered for revealing too much or if she was offered up as a human sacrifice, but either way, she died at a very young age under mysterious circumstances and under the spell of an elite secret society. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcode with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.